Hello and welcome back to Factorio Fix It. My name is Nadia Root and let's get cracking today. We're playing a factory by Clonan. He sent it through to me. This is a 72 hour factory, so this should be uh, interesting. Uh, Radio. Mm hmm. So that's an endless loop by the looks of it. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, just have a quick look at. Wow. <laughs> See the, the map having to do a fair bit of work to load in there. Yeah, yikes. Okay. So this is quite a sizable map. Let's go over and check out the defenses. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if he's calculated that out to self-run it, like run itself. Because that would be really cool if this and this uh, ran kind of this. 1.7k, is that all? I would have thought there would be um, more than that. Okay, that's... Uh, hmm. Not exactly perfect, but that's alright. Uh, we'll head back to the main base and just suss it out a little bit, see what's happening. So that was an old radar station. Storage chest, wonderful. So let's ditch some stuff. I don't need that, that, that. Let's just ditch everything. Then we can get it all organized. So we'll get a hundred of them. Hundred hundred of these. Some green circuits. Oh whoops. Some red circuits. Should probably get two hundred of the circuits, because that's the stack size, so it'll fit in my inventory. So yeah, two hundred of them. Yeah, we'll run with that for the moment. Okay. Oh, we also need some steel. Get rid of the modules for the moment. Blueprints galore. I won't throw them away, because Clonin's probably going to want them. Won't let that, let that. It's fine. Uh, that and that can go away. Go. Okay. <laughs> uh, request a chest. We only need one request a chest. We only need one storage chest. Our steel axes could actually go in that little stack there. Uh, there's 50 of them, they can go away. Uh, again, we only need one smart chest. Once you get to this stage of the game, you only need one of most things, because one will allow you to shadow build, and then uh, the robots will bring whatever else you need to you. Now, uh, that we can get rid of, that we can get rid of, walls go, and I think that's probably everything. Alright, let's go boogie and see what's happening over here. Okay, now this, this kind of idea is so that each of the furnaces will always have access to something. Uh, it's an okay idea. I wonder if he's set it up right. Okay. Now, here's the... Here's the thing, right? There's a better way of doing this. Right? 
and I'll show it to you. Uh, where is? I threw all of these away, so I'll grab one of them splitters. Put our fast transport belt there. Okay, so what we really want to do is we want to have um, items coming onto both sides of the belt so that we can up the production capacity of the entire thing. Now that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. Okay. So that's an in-one belt rebalancer. That is really going to bias that inside side. Now, the only thing is... That, uh, this little corner is really going to prevent, you know, full compression. But it is what it is, so we'll continue moving on, because it's not worth fixing. You know, it does its job, and that's fine. So we've got, uh, robot frames being made. Now, unfortunately, this is... Unfortunately, this is restricted by the box. Now, if I was to take 50 of these and put them in this box over here, this is going to work like crazy and try and fill them up. So this this is something that I see a lot of and it really needs to be set up like this because then, then you don't have to worry about it. So say, okay, I want 500. Oh, look, it stopped. Copy and paste it. So now it'll look throughout the system and say, okay, well, we've got enough, we don't need to make any more, even though it's not necessarily in the box. Now this, this is an absolute mess. And it seems like there's lots of leftover things everywhere. Like Clonin has, uh, you know, just been updating his factory, changed it around and you know, throughout the process, he hasn't really bothered to get rid of things. <laughs> For example, an old gun turret there. No, and it says a lot about a person, the way they set out a factory. And I think Clonin's are very much an on-the-fly kind of guy. Because he just, uh, you can see that he's, he's making it up as he goes along. There's no real plan here. But, uh, to his credit, it works nicely. There's some big resource investments here in this factory. Um, like the blue belts everywhere is a pointing case. Uh, what else have we got? Okay. It's not a terribly large smelting operation, but somewhere a lot of iron and everything is being put into the system. So let's keep walking over here and see what's in this part of the map. So here we've got another little station, another little outpost, if you will. Hmm. Okay, so this entire thing's way plastic. Then it's loading up this little outpost here that's going to take uh, take it back to wherever it needs to go. Yeah, okay. So that's tons of storage for that. You don't really need more iron there. So that's pretty well designed, I would say. Uh, we have... Yeah, okay. This is an interesting little issue. When you have the belts run too far, you'll end up with materials just sitting around, not doing anything. So it's ideal to try and you know, make sure everything's working. Oops. Except for this one. 
Okay, then that was no good. Okay. So that all seems to be working smooth-ish. Uh, I think that for what Clonan has done, he's really gone with uh, quantity, not quality. So there's lots and lots of these builds, but they're not um, the best. <laughs> uh, there's, there's lots of places where it could be better. See, so this is waiting for um, iron up here. So the train system is causing issues. Let's put it that way. Okay, so this is all a defunct uh, little mining spot. There's just coal on the ground there. Keep moving through the factory, keep checking it out, seeing what he's done. This is a fair bit of mayhem in this factory. <laughs> okay, so it seems like the idea is have. Uh, have smelting on site. Very good idea. I like it a lot. I think that uh Okay. How does it figure that? Alright, so this is something very, very interesting. Can you see how this area is actually on a separate circuit to the main factory? So, if I do that, suddenly we're going to pick up the speed of our iron production drastically. Right, let's go. Now, what we have here, let me just see if I can puzzle this out. I really feel like there's too many balancing balances going on here. Mm. What about, what about, what about? Okay. What about if we do something like that? Something like this, okay. So this is going to fill up quite quickly, and when it does, that'll be fine. But what we'll do is we don't need a rebalancer here at all. I think that it should should level itself out because it's balanced to either side, and because it's balanced to either side here, we shouldn't have any issues. Shouldn't have is the. Uh, is the, the active term there, but uh, yeah. uh, fewer resources, so fewer resources invested in this setup now. Uh, so this this is uh, interesting. So what we'll do is just stop that there. I get the idea behind it. He wants to have uh, materials circling around so that it's always available. Um, but with a smelter setup, you're going to end up with um, issues when you you discover that you can't keep the end filled because of throughput so I think this is probably a better plan so you can see much easier where things start to go wrong now I don't know whether Clonan is planning to extend there but that doesn't need to run any further whoops that was not good Done. Okay, doggy. We've got some pretty gravy builds going on <laughs> everywhere. Now, where have we uh, explored? So we've explored there. We've explored there. Let's head down in this direction. This looks uh, pretty interesting down here.
Seems like there needs to be more trains. <clears throat> but hell no, I'm not playing around with trains. You can get that out of your head. Okie dokie. What have we got down here? Oh, another iron setup. Okay, this is an iron setup to nowhere. May as well put it in a box. If you're going to smelt it, you may as well put it in a box. Okay, there we go. This is putting a bias to one side of the line. And again, we probably don't need it circling around. Oh, bless me. Oh. Circles in the corners. Oh, God. Unless he's going for like a lean machine kind of idea. I don't see the, the purpose. You might as well just have it backed up on a belt. It's easier. <laughs> After my experiences with the lean machine. It's, uh, mm, yeah. Set up. Oh, that was not right. Okay. Now we got it. Now the reason why it's good to do your smelting off-site is because you can see here that this is a stack size of 100. This is only a stack size of 50, so you get effectively twice the amount of storage when you uh, put uh, iron plates onto trains as opposed to iron ore. So keep that in mind. I really like the idea. So, wall factory. That's nice. Let's head down here and see what's happening. Oh, another factory. He likes his circle set up, that's for sure. That is for sure. Right, well, let's go over here. Let's see what's happening. It's just all run on uh, logistics spots by the looks of it. So that's all fine. Let's uh, let's just do a couple of things here. Because again, unless you're playing lean machine, um, no one will need to do this. And you'll notice that our compression actually gets better when we remove that. Yeah, we're pretty much choppers now, which is excellent. You know, to pack a blue belt, that's uh, that's some serious, serious throughput. Yeah, this is all nice. This seems to be a chronic lack of plastic. And that seems to be because there's a chronic lack of petroleum gas. I think this factory might be broken. So unfortunately you can't uh, You can't get uh, logistics spots to bring in petroleum gas for you. Uh, hmm. I think we might uh, stop this episode here. It's been a, a good, uh, good little adventure through uh, Clonan's factory. 
He's um he's done well with his uh, his design and his build. Uh, it's been interesting to see all the solutions and you can see that after 70 hours what kind of um, what kind of changes you can make and, and what kind of designs you can come up with. I'll just uh, throw this down so it can start working again. Okay. Boom, plastics. Pretty easy. Now, moving forward, you know, I don't uh, don't know what he's up to. Well, he's clearly got one more thing to research, and that's rocket defense. So, uh, he'll get there. He'll do it. He's uh, got this world under control, that's for sure. My name's been Negative Root. Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.